Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Guile, and I am going to be teaching you about the circle of grace. We will be discussing this through several lessons, and I hope that you will join me on this journey to discover what the circle of grace is and how you can apply it to your life. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen here and get us going. So our first lesson here is the circle of in the circle of grace. We're going to start with an opening prayer. So if we can all do the sign of the cross, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And let's say this together. Holy Spirit, show us the way. Be with us in all we think, do, and say. Amen. All right. So let's first start talking a little bit about symbols. Here are a couple symbols that you may all recognize. These symbols um, are, are, or symbols are, I guess I should say, things that represent something visually that we all rec recognize. First, we have the Nike swish sign. The Nike swish sign, we all usually orient with sports and athletics, fitness clothes, sneakers. We have the um, circle with the red slash through it, which usually means not to do something. So this is saying, do not walk in this area. Um, there can be other things behind that um, do not enter sign, right? But that's another symbol. Another popular symbol that you should probably be know is the peace sign, right? And the peace sign represents peace and love and happiness and good things. Another symbol that a lot of people recognize and, and are aware of is the symbol of um, the stop sign, right? It's uh, an octagon tells us, and we see that shape, we know there's a stop up ahead. So there are lots of symbols and you might be able to come up with some of your own symbols with you and whoever's teaching and sitting with you right now whether it be a parent or um, a grandparent or maybe an older sibling. But think, of, see if you could come up with some other symbols that you recognize. When we're talking about the circle of grace, this is the symbol that represents the circle of grace. And there are some different aspects and different parts of this that we're gonna break down. So the actual lettering, right, the red lettering, um, where it says circle of grace, that represents um, and stands for the color of the Holy Spirit. Red is the color of the Holy Spirit. The person is um, the child of God and you and I and all of us are children of God. The yellow circle represents grace. The dove represents the Holy Spirit. And the blue background is the world in which we live. So you might ask, well, what, what is this whole circle of grace, right? What is that? And what does, how do we understand it? And what do we know, right? What is this thing? Well, the circle of grace, one of the ways we could kind of try to figure it out is I want everybody to stand up and I can't really stand up because of my video. So forgive me, but I want you all to stand up on your feet and I want you to put your hands out nice and wide. And I want you to reach your hands above your head. And I want you to bring them down to your sides. I want you to extend them out in front of you and behind you and wiggle them all around, right? This whole space, right? From top to bottom, from your above your head to down to your feet, that is the circle of grace. And that is the space in which the Holy Spirit surrounds you, loves you and supports you in. So when you're thinking about what is this circle of grace, right? The circle of grace that we're talking about is the space in which the Holy Spirit just surrounds us. It kind of comes up down from heaven to from God all the way down and around us and circles us. So then you might say, well, why do we have a circle of grace? What's the purpose of a circle of grace? Well, we all have the circle of grace because we are all God's children. And as God's children, God loves us. He loves every single one of us. He loves you. He loves me. He loves your brothers and sisters and your grandparents and your parents and your friends and every person throughout the whole world. And because he loves us, he has given us this gift of the Holy Spirit and this circle of grace around us in order to help guide us 
through good times and bad times, through days that are going well and days that aren't going so well. And we can always rely on the Holy Spirit to help kind of guide us and help us figure out, are we doing the right thing? Are we making the right choices? Are we moving in the right direction? And it's so important for us to pay attention to what the Holy Spirit is guiding us and directing us um, to be doing. So one of the things, I'm gonna jump back over to my screen, you know, that I want you to kind of think about is different things that make us feel good and maybe different things that maybe don't make us feel so great. So if we look back over here and be patient with me, right? So there's our circle of grace again. So I want you to take a moment and I want you to think of a list of things that you have done or do or that people have done or do for you that make you smile just like this big smiley face. So I want you to come up with a list with the person next to you. Let's pause the video for a moment and we'll come back in a second. Welcome back. All right. I hope you were able to come up with a nice list of things that you do and others do for you that help you feel good and smile as big as a smile. Here's my list of some quick things that I came up with, right? So I can help clean up around my house and others can help clean up around my house. And that makes me very happy when my children help clean up around the house. I can share my things with others and others can share things with me. I can take care of our pets. I can make food for others and others can make food for me. I love it when my children cook and explore and experiment in the kitchen. We can buy clothes or maybe our families buy clothes for us and we can say kind things. Kind things always put a smile on our face when someone says something kind to us. And when those happy things are happening, we feel like a nice, good feeling, right? It's like a warm fuzziness and it's just this nice kind of, we know that what's happening around us is good and positive and makes us feel wonderful. Now let's talk about another type of feeling that we could have. And it's kind of a feeling that makes us feel sad, right? What are some things that maybe you have done that has hurt someone's feelings or that maybe someone has done to you that has hurt your feelings. So we're gonna pause the video again right here and I want you to take a moment to make a list of things that maybe would have created this sad face. Welcome back. I hope you were able to come up with a list of some things. One of the things that we are should be aware of, right, is that when we are feeling down and something bad has happened to us, we need to remember that the Holy Spirit and God and Jesus are with us to support us through whatever challenges and uh, obstacles that face us. So here's my list of things that I came up with, right? So if we, um, if we hit somebody, if someone says a mean word to us, or maybe we say mean words to somebody else, refusing to share our toys or our things with other people can make someone feel very sad, throwing things, telling a lie, or a friend not letting um, you play with them are all ways and things that can make us not feel happy and can make us feel really sad. In those moments, I want you to remember if these things have been done to you, that God is there to support you and to love you. But I also want you to know that if maybe you have done some of these things to somebody else, God is also there to support you and to love you and to encourage you to make better choices and to forgive you. He will always forgive you. He will always try to lead you with the force of the Holy Spirit around you to be able to make better choices in the future and to work and to be in a more positive direction. So in closing for this lesson, I would like you to make sure that you remember that God is always with us and he has given us this beautiful grace, circle of grace around us of the Holy Spirit. It is like a blanket that en envelops us and keeps us warm and safe and protected. So in closing, we're gonna wrap up with this prayer and I'd like for you all to say it with me. Thank you, God, for always being with me in my circle of grace. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit 
who helps me know what is good. Thank you for giving me people who care about me and want me to be safe. Amen. So as we wrap up this last chapter or this lesson, excuse me, this lesson, um, I want you to take away all of the things that you can do that will make other people feel good, just like you feel good and make it an effort, an effort to try to work really hard to put that smile on those on the face of those around you. Because as you are able to put that smile on other people's faces, your face will have a huge smile as well. And then you will know that God is so proud of you and will continue to surround you always with his Holy Spirit to guide you to make the best choices possible. Thank you for joining me for this first lesson. And I look forward to seeing you on future lessons. Have a wonderful day. Bye.